then we actually get started with a mock interview for three year experience front end developer using react so i am so, i am a two year experience front end developer i want to take my mock interview on react js can you spend 5 minutes quickly on mock interview what are the first three things you do when starting a new development project hello all welcome back to careers basant youtube channel my name is basant i hope you all doing well so this is a video where i'm going to explain you about the mock interviews as you already saw on the thumbnail and the uh, title without waiting for the time let's get started as soon as i decided to make a video i just sort of researching like, as you all do now like just search like uh, ai mock interview platforms okay so what i was expecting in the search is at least i should get some platforms where i can go and take my mock interviews relatively free at least for three four first interviews are free and maybe i'll pay afterwards or if it is free for lifetime why not very good so i went to multiple sites which you see here as you already seen some of them already highlighted with different color the problem i felt that some are not genuine driven some are like again still a person driven sort of one where you have to pay for a mentor and take the mentor take the mock interview and second lot of them were not free third even though people like some website claim they are free but as soon as i enter inside i, I got to know like either it's not working they're asking you to upload your resume which is not parsing so i spent at least 3 to 4 hours to come up with like couple of options which you can take where you can take mock interviews which is very important aspect of your front end developer interview i'm particularly sp speaking about the front end developer but i think this video largely holds good for any of the software industry person you are okay now let me start by the first platform i i explain four different platforms in this video i am sure you're going to love the last one which you never thought will be the right uh, mock interview platform okay let's start with the first one so first one is interviewschool.com So if you see basic plan is zero zero per year, access to free level interviews, AI assisted feedback, answer videos stored up to one hour. Okay, so this is more like a video getting stored. Premium plan and uh, institutional plans are also there. So I tried giving few mock interviews here, and it is fairly good. I don't say like something super awesome, but they were good where I could take the mock interview. I was getting the feedback. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use it step by step. Considering the time constraint, I'm not going to take the complete mock interview, uh, but I'm going to give you a glimpse so that you can go ahead and use it. Okay, so once after you log in, so you'll be prompted with this screen where you can browse all the interviews, or if you can go back here, you can browse by category and browse by company. Okay, let's say you browse by company or browse by category, and uh, you see a lot of different things here. not necessarily for it if you see there are multiple different streams like retail real estate sales multiple other streams are also there let's say you go to the technology so here again you have like multiple different companies let's say i search for front end um so front end engineer i have and i have another one like if you're looking for a front end engineer position you will likely to be interviewed skills another one is also there let's say i give start interview here start interview So it asks me for all the permissions. So I'm just hiding my Zoom video so that there's no duplication of myself in the video. So I'm all good. What is the difference between HTML and CSS? So HTML is something hypertext markup language that is used actually for uh, writing the UI elements, whereas the CSS is cascading style sheets that is used for writing the styles. To if you consider like HTML is a plain text, CSS is something that is giving a beautification to it. See guys, if you observe here, this whatever the lady that you are seeing on the screen, she is an AI agent or AI lady. So she is she is not live. So she just tells whatever the statements given to her, so that we kind of get an real interview experience. So it is good compared to like paying a lot of money to get a mock interview by a person. This is actually good, which also gives a real feeling. Okay, I'm just going to the next question. What are the first three things you do when starting a new development project? So first thing, I'll make sure like I have the right project to and folder set up. and second i make sure i write the reusable components reusable uh, functions and components that are really required for the project third thing i make sure all the security aspects are taken care fourth i make sure performance is taken care fifth i make sure there is no tech tipped so consider the time consider i'm not going to the complete interview but you can go through the complete interview and maybe once after you complete the interview you can go to even your dashboard and see how you actually performed and uh, see uh, all interviews that i have taken are here actually i can go ahead and complete those and get my feedback all of the information is available here i uh, with couple of if you can create some couple of accounts from different uh, gmail ids etc you can easily take few mock interviews before any real interview this is going to be completely free okay first this is the one i'm going to give link to all of that in the chat section so you don't have to worry second one i felt actually from google this is completely free no need to pay anything uh, if you see here this is like cloud skill boost dot um, dot google So this is by Google, but only problem with this is like you cannot take mock interview for every technology that you want. So there are quite a few things which are preferred here, like data analytics, digital marketing, IT support. 
you can take interviews on only on these topics as many times you want but usually the even if you take the same interview couple of times uh, or multiple times you get a different question which is an advantage so i'm giving a general interview let's i'm getting it started so all are using this site hi let's practice an interview can you please tell me a bit about yourself so as you can see here either i can answer by giving the voice input or i can even type so that it will it will assess and it will tell how is my overall answer okay i'm answering now um hey um, I, i'm vasant i have close to 9 years of it industry experience I, my core skills are front end development i build mobile and web applications and uh, in near future i want to uh, want to architect some lot of good products and i also want to teach front end to lot of youths which to benefit them in their career transition thanks for your answer so if i expand my answer so here it says says like talking points you weren't able to detect any talking points in the answer so you basically it will analyze here itself is there anything that i can improve further etc okay uh, access tools to help your answer so you can actually complete this complete uh, one to five this is this is for the general interview there are very specific interviews also but as i mentioned like only in a few streams not in all the streams okay this general interviews must take if i suggest if you are somebody who struggles to answering very common question in interview typically the hiring manager round sort of a question what are the challenges that you face in the current company uh, or any problems like that like how do you overcome a, a problem where there was a conflict in between the team members how do you deliver the things which are like to uh, you want to deliver in a short span all of these such questions will be asked in general you can answer them and the, even the 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 tool itself will assess it and give you the exact answer like uh, where you are missing what to improve and you can retake the interview to make sure you have corrected it okay third which most of us already know is chat gpt so chat gpt lot of people know where we search go and search for a lot of things but many of us do not know how to rightly use this for taking the mock interviews i'm teaching the third one i'm going to also teach you one more tool for taking the mock interview which will really blow you away which probably you may not thought like you can take a mock interview in that platform also okay so here you, you see it right, voice use voice mode you can just click on use voice mode so that it can live interact with you where you can actually uh, take a mock interview i'm going to live demo it to you mistake Well, I hope you're having a great day anyway. Yeah. What's on your mind today? So, I'm so uh I'm a 2 year experienced front end developer. I want to take my mock interview on React JS. Can you spend 5 minutes quickly on mock interview? Awesome. Let's dive right in. So, chat GPT here. Please. No, here are uh, my my here is my ask. You give me you ask me one question, I'm going to answer it at the after that you give me the right answer and we go to the next question. Sounds good? Got it. Let's start with the React JS question. Okay. How would Great. Some ways to optimize performance include using react.memo, implementing should component update, code splitting with react.lazy, and using production build. How would you answer this question? Uh I did not fully get the question, ChatGPT. Can you please repeat it? Sure. How would you optimize performance in a React application? okay so quite a few different ways that i can use to i can i can basically work to optimize the application probably one is lazy loading another one is efficiently using the network call uh third one is basically optimally using the resources fourth one uh, uh probably where using the right branching strategies um probably fifth one is using things like dynamic loading where content is loaded only on the, the required uh, basis uh, these are things i think are the answers to gpt those are great additionally Techniques like memoizing expensive calculations with react.memo or use memo and avoiding unnecessary re-renders using should component update or pure component can also help. Your approach covers a lot of important points. Yeah, thank you ChatGPT. So guys, uh, if you, if you see clearly here like now my complete whatever the conversation that I had is been added here. and whatever the chat gpt responded that is also added here you you not just that in fact if you want it to assess it fully and give you an assessment sort of a format in a tabular form what is correct what is wrong what to improve chat gpt will give you that so this should be the free tool to use probably infinite number of times i know there is a cut on the on number of tokens but probably one mock interview you can freely give every day using chat gpt you don't have to pay any any mentor any money so just go come here take a mock interview and you are sorted definitely the quality varies when compared to mentor but to nothing wrong to get started correct now i'll tell you the last and the most important to probably which many of you might have not thought and it is only available in phones currently that is gemini 
okay so you guys cannot see it because as it is only on the mobile i'm going to record my screen and i will show it to you in the video okay but you can there is an option mm. yeah now i'm i'm recording a mock interview or we do using the gemini this uh, this screen recording i'll put it on the video somewhere left or right later okay so in the in the in the screen you can just click on that live option which is more like a jazzy option and you come here okay and when as soon as you come to gemini you can just ask same thing what you have for chat gpt okay i'm going to put it near to the mic Hey, hi, Germany. I'm Vasant. Hi, Vasant. I'm not Germany. I'm Gemini. But it's nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Hey, hey, Germany. Can we actually get started with a mock interview for three-year experience front-end developer using React JS? I want you to ask me a few questions on React JS, and uh, can you validate my answers and correct me if I'm missing something? I want it in the format where you ask me a question, I answer a question, and you immediately tell whether it's correct or wrong. If I'm, it is wrong, I want you to correct it, Gemini. Sounds good, Vasant. I'm ready to dive into a mock interview for a three-year experienced React JS developer. Mm. I'll ask you a question, you answer, and then I'll provide feedback on whether you're correct or not. If you're wrong, I'll explain why and try to guide you towards the right answer. Let's oh. begin. Okay. Can you explain the difference between state and props in React? So state is a uh, state is nothing but a memory of a component. Whenever as long as the component is live, the state will be live. Whereas the prop is something nothing but a property that you pass to a component. So depending on the it's more like you passing a uh, argument to a function that is prop. State is a memory of a component. That's the difference. That's partially correct, Vasant. You're right that state and props are different. But let's be more specific. State is data that lives inside a component itself. It can change over time and it's up to the component to manage those changes. Props, on the other hand, are used to pass data into a component from its parent. They're like read-only snapshots of data, and you can't change them from inside the component itself. Let's try another one. Can you explain? You uh, got the way how, how I'm using all of these different tools uh, for you taking the mock interviews. So as you saw, like Gemini works well, maybe because it's mobile and connectivity issue, there is slight delay I saw. Same goes for the first interview school.com. There is a small delay between the questions because as it's completely air driven. I feel the chat GPT performs extremely good, probably with my laptop and my internet connectivity. But chat GPT or Gemini, anyone you can choose whenever you're traveling, whenever you're going from one place to another or anything like that, you want to take some walk interview, just use Gemini and keep answering. So why not use these free resources for upskilling yourself and preparing well for the interview before actually paying to mentor to take your mock interview. Assume you like the video, this should be very useful for a lot of people. So please share the video with your friends and uh, uh, like the video if you really liked it. And if you th want me to make more AI related comp content, please mention it in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, Career with Vasant. I'm going to bring more AI related content in the coming days. And if you're not already followed me on LinkedIn, please follow me. I write every day about AI and front-end related tech. Follow me on Medium. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.